but really if you're not standing like right there hi guys i'm maya and for today's video it is another full face of something challenge and for this video i thought it would be really really interesting to do a full face of makeup that is out of date there's been a lot of discussion about this topic about should makeup products have expiration dates are they true do you follow them blah, 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 blah. just as a disclaimer not everyone might agree with some things that i might say this is just my personal view on this video this is just my experience so here is all the makeup so here is all the makeup that I will be Here's all the makeup that I'll be putting on my face today and all of these technically I should not be using. So the first product I'm going to be putting on my face is the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base Primer. This one actually says on the back it's expiration date and it says 12 months and I got this on a shopping trip for my 14th birthday and I'm now 16 and a half. So this is supposed to be well out of date. To be fair, if you've watched my other videos, I don't like this one anyway. But I did use it for quite a while when I first got it so I can compare how it acts. The first thing I can notice is that this really smells of chemicals. Like really, really smells of chemicals. And I don't really remember it smelling this bad when I first got it. So I think this might be something to do with it going off. But really, apart from the smell, it feels the same way. It looks the same way, even though it doesn't really look like anything. But even though it looks the same, I think smelling very badly of chemicals might not be a very good thing. But to be fair, I did use this primer around the one year mark and it didn't smell like chemicals. So it could be that the date that the makeup companies give you is too early. Maybe, maybe not. Now onto my base. This one I also got on my 14th birthday shopping trip. This is the Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream. And again, it says here the expiration date and it says 12 months so again a year that's nasty <laughs> smells exactly the same as it does when it's first bought so no apparent change there Woo! the first thing i am immediately noticing this isn't exactly my skin color and i remember when i first bought this putting it on and being like mum this is amazing this is exactly my skin color so i think the more time it's been opened the more the product oxidizes in the bottle something that's now making itself very very clear to me and i'm a bit shocked at is the coverage of this bb cream is actually really really good when you first buy it but now it's not that good so i think the coverage is actually lowered as time goes on that's a bit dodgy not that bad not that bad next is concealer i'm using one of my favorite concealers in the world that has unfortunately passed its sell by date it is the nyx hd concealer the sell by date on this one is actually six months now how old is this i'm actually like contemplating my life choices now i've realized how old this is this is one year and six months old so this is a whole year out of date this is also nearly empty which shows that i love this product so i know i know what it performs like It's not just today filming this video, for quite a while I've noticed that it's been a lot harder to blend out. It's a lot stiffer to blend out, it sets a lot quicker, it's a lot more cakey and it's just really not up to the standard it is when you first buy it. I love this concealer when you first buy it but now it's just nasty. Gonna have to throw that away. Next up in my little makeup routine is powder. And for my powder, I'm using the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation in the shade Ivory. It says on the back here the expiration date and it says 18 months, which is a year and six months. And funnily enough, this is pretty much exactly a year and six months old. And once again, I have used this quite a lot so I can tell if it's good or bad. <laughs> so I'm just going to set my entire base with this under my eyes and, you know, everywhere. It still picks up the same amount of product as it does when it's normal, so it hasn't like stuck in the pan like I thought it might. It doesn't smell weird, it smells normal. Not like powders normally have a smell, this one doesn't really have a smell. I was just a bit worried it might have like started to smell like fart or something. I have nothing to complain about this. And I know a lot of people are scared of using out of date products because the amount of bacteria you can get in it. But honestly, I've had no problems with like breakouts or anything or anything bad when I use this. So I think we're all good in the hood with that one. The next product I'm using to bronze and blush and all of that jazz is the Sleek Face Form Kit. It says here the expiration date is 24 months, which I was really surprised at because that is a long time. But unfortunately, I have passed owning this for two years. And this palette has been completely well loved. It's amazing. I adore it. Smells completely fine. Smells like nothing. So I'm just going to bronze my face with the brown colour first. 
No complaints about the bronzer, I can't really on using it. Next, I'm going to be using the blush in the palette. Let's see if it picks up the same amount of product. Not really, actually. It's noticeably a lot stiffer and more solid in the pan. Dun, dun, dun. And lastly, I am using the highlighter in this palette. I am glowing it up, I am shining to the heavens. This highlighter still works great and I'd carry on using this palette. So no complaints there, I wouldn't want to throw this away and repurchase another one if this one works perfectly fine. My beloved NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder is out of date. I am in grieving at the moment, I, oh no, no. The expiration date on this is 12 months and once again I've had this for a year and six months. I understand the whole bacteria kind of putting you off thing and that's why I don't use the wax anymore. I think the wax would kind of inhabit more bacteria than the powder so I keep clear of that but what really confuses me is that for a year and six months I have been using these powders pretty much every single day if makeup companies know they don't want people to use this product after a year why do they put so much product in? No one is going to use two pans of this much eyebrow powder in a year. No one will, no one. What's the point of companies wasting product by putting in way more than you need and also making the person pay more when they don't want you to use it after a certain time? Makes absolutely no sense to me. I've been using this product every single day for so long and throughout the time that I've been using it, I haven't noticed anything change at all and I think I would because I watch a lot of Sherlock. Eyeshadow is the next step and this is actually the very first eyeshadow palette I ever bought. And I started doing makeup when I was about 13. So this is about three and a half years old and the expiration date is in one year. So this is very, very much out of date. This palette is incredible. It is, oh my God. Doesn't smell any different than normal. So nothing jumping out at me saying I've gone bad. I can't tell the slightest bit of difference. I need to actually start using this palette a little bit more because I've realized how good it is. Eyeliner is the next thing I'm going to be doing. This is the Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner in Black Ink. And surprisingly to me, this actually doesn't have an expiration date on it. And I actually found a mini interview where Bobbi Brown herself said that she thinks eyeliners should be used for one year. And I've had this for more than a year. <laughs> This eyeliner still, after a long time, glides on so smoothly. But the one thing I've noticed is that after a bit of time, it's lost some of its pigmentation. It's now leaning a lot more to dark grey than pitch black. But really, if you're not standing like right there, you can't really tell the difference. Next on the agenda is mascara. This is probably the most controversial, disgust makeup product in the expiration kind of category. Because a lot of people say, you need to replace your mascara every three months or else you get an eye infection, your eyes will pop out, oh my god. Whereas I, on the other hand, have used mascaras up until they dry out, which can be about three years, and there's been no problems. So today I'm using the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This has an expiration date of six months, and I've had this for about a year. This is a lot of money. I'm not gonna use it for three months and chuck it away when it's not even finished. For the smell scale, this smells exactly the same as it did when I first opened it. It doesn't seem to have set or like dried up in the slightest, but aside all that, I have noticed my eyelashes are a bit shorter. When I first used it, it made my mascara like whoop. We're finally onto the very last product and this is lips. I am using the Bare Minerals Lip Gloss in the shade Rosé and it says on the bottom with the little symbol, the expiration date is in 12 months. I got this at the Claw Show Live in 2014. So this is over two years old. This smells like heaven, oh my God. It smells yummy. I've always, always loved this lip gloss based on the fact that it is not sticky in the slightest. It still isn't. It feels as good as gold. It feels brand new, nothing to complain about. So this one seems okay, but I'd still be a bit wary about lip products. Well, that's just me. So this is the final phase of makeup that is all completely out of date. 
And to be fair, it looks like a normal face of makeup. Comment below if any of your makeup products are out of date and what you think of them, I'd really like to know. And can I just say as a little add-on, thank you so much to everyone who's donated to my Peru trip to go and volunteer work out there. It means the world to me, all the support's amazing and I can't wait to go. So this is it, this was really interesting to do. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe and like and all that jazz. And I will see you next time, bye. OMG, it's Maya, she has sorted out a certain attire With makeup moments, lifestyle too, you'll never get bored OMG, it's Maya